Okay, so this is going to be system test 28.5. Hello, it's me again. Um, and the, I, I'm looking at my shopping list. Maybe I should turn this piece of paper over. So in this uh, system test, this half test, I'm going to be doing a couple of coding options that were suggested to me in the comments of system test 28. And I'm just going to touch on some things that uh, I got a couple questions about. And I'm also going to try to set the theme here of uh, half tests being a little bit more candid and casual versus regular system tests, which, I don't know, are edited. But anyway, um, so I've been, I've been doing some light work in preparation for system test uh, 29. And I'll go over some of the changes, which obviously means, you know, if you don't want System Test 29 to be spoiled for you in a number of ways, then wait until that comes out to watch that and to watch this. But the one of the first noticeable changes is that the horn is no longer on that column over there. Would that be a column or a pillar? I think I'm just going to go with column. It is now over here uh, in front of the panel just because I wanted to, I mean it's a little bit easier to work with and let's let's be real that was really, that piece of wood sitting there was really ugly anyway so. Another thing that I have been working on is fixing the wiring. Uh, you can see down here I have the thermostat wiring which is color coded so it's actually easier to uh, keep track of everything. And I don't know how noticeable it is for anyone that hasn't had to work intimately with that, with those, all these boxes here, but it's a lot better. And all of this wiring is a lot more organized. And I also put up the I3 down here. So now there's a smoke detector. There's two detectors in the basement and zero upstairs because that makes perfect sense. Oh, uh, what else? What else? This is about the extent of, uh, that I was able to get with the wire that I have because I'm trying to do it I'm trying to do it all in like one run of wire so that I don't end up situations like this where those little the wire nuts are you know it doesn't look very pretty and uh, as it turns out I have a lot of wire and not a lot of wire that's you know long enough and or the perfect length to actually make that distance so that's okay, I guess. Uh, I thought I was going to be able to buy some at Walmart today, but I couldn't afford it, so that's okay. But the bottom line of that is that I started rewiring, and both the smoke detectors are working. So since everything is pretty much the same beyond that, um, we're just going to get right to it. And the first coding option is 90 beats per minute. And please, I understand it's easy to be nitpicky, but just bear with me here, all right? I get it, it's probably not perfectly 90 beats per minute, but I have to adjust uh, like knobs by hand and a factor of like the tiniest like tenth of a degree changes the, it's a whole thing. So just bear with me, I'm doing my best. Anyway, this is 90 beats per minute. Got to hook up the true alert. Oops.
right, so that's 90 beats per minute. I did this, by the way, by adjusting the timing of the two-stage relay instead of the march time relay because I didn't want to have to readjust the march time relay because that's a really annoying process. What the? Why is this? Come on. There we go. And uh, I accidentally adjusted the march time relay at one point, so that whole endeavor was kind of pointless, but... Come on. Okay, uh, up next is 60 beats per minute, so let me just adjust this really quick. Why is that out of focus? Okay, so now it's in uh, 60 beats per minute, in quotations, because it's. I think it's actually a little bit closer to 55, but I really did actually try to do that. Uh, I tried to get it to 60, but you know, it's, again, it's really hard to adjust those knobs. So, we'll go ahead and head upstairs here, and we'll just do it by one of these pull stations. Um, it's really dark up here, isn't it? To apply this T-bar. Yeah, it's a little slow, but that's fine. Um, the truler is not wired. That's my fault. I actually forgot to do that. But anyway, the next one, I don't think anyone asked for it. I don't remember if they did. But I'm actually going to record what this looks like because I want you all to have to uh, to see my my struggle here. So, adjusting the timing on these relays, you have to turn these knobs, and the maximum time is 10 seconds, and the minimal time is 0.1 seconds. So, there's really not a lot of play you can get to uh, get the perfect time, if that makes any sense. And this is the relay that's, this one here, the one at the end is the one that's uh, actually on. So I'm going to try to uh, adjust this to 20, and uh, I actually have this metronome here that I've been using to, uh, as a sort of a reference, but this actually, this only goes down to 40, so I have to figure this out myself, but we'll just see this. Another thing about this really is that it's not actually accurate to what's printed on it. I guess it's a little bit cheap, even though it's name brand from Potter, but whatever, I guess. Actually, I don't even know if I'm, what I'm going for is 20 beats per minute. Alright, I don't know if that's 
funny beats for it or not, I don't have a reference for it, but, 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 that's okay. That is okay. Um, we will just, we'll just call it slow pulse for now. A common, common coding option that might have been used in the era of the 4050s and the red lights, so. Let's activate this smoke detector here. There it goes. That 4050 sounds better than it did in the last one. Wow, that looked really creepy in that mirror, didn't it? And then finally, probably the easiest one to do out of all of them, California code, which I have been told and I have been led to believe is just five seconds on, or no, ten seconds on, five seconds off. So, I don't really know particularly why this would be interesting to some people because it's kind of just continuous with a twist, but, you know. Everyone likes different things.
4050 vibrates so much that it actually pulled itself out a little bit. These screws were already out like that, but it was pulled itself all the way out. Uh, okay, let's see what's next on the list here. Okay, so just gonna go over a couple more things to note here. Uh, this is take like 30 because I kept flubbing the words that I wanted to say, but uh, people have been asking about the 405080. Uh, I actually don't have the 405080 anymore. I gave it to my friend Scimitar, and there's a link in the description that everyone should go click and subscribe to her YouTube channel because she is awesome. Uh, so that is your that is your homework. Somebody asked about the mixing of AC and DC voltage in the system, and it's actually pretty simple and also kind of like crude because you know. There's a lot that can go wrong there, but basically what I have is uh, this power supply here that came with a Moose uh, security panel that I still have. Uh, the same panel that uh, came in that case, actually. And uh, so basically the power from that is going up to this relay and this relay is powered by the circuit that would normally power the horn neck. So, uh, the AC goes through the normally open contacts on that relay, and then it goes through what would normally be the horn neck. So, the answer, the answer to most questions about my panel is just relays, because that's what this panel is. Relays will solve all of your problems, except for the one that I'm about to get to. I think I think voice evac might be the only thing that I can't just do by using purely relays. And that's something that I do want to get to in the future. I don't know when, but I know there's these little modules you can get. You just like plug a, a flash drive into it and it'll play a, an MP3 file. So I do want to do that at some point. We'll have to see when. Uh, as I'm sure you could guess by the fact that I couldn't afford wire at Walmart. Uh, money is tight, so I don't know when I'll get to that. Another thing is uh, the lights. These lights, um, some of them are Lithonia VWL, uh, or no. Why do I make my 1s and Ls look the same? Anyway, the name of that light is uh, on a lower third there on the screen. And, yeah, they're essentially the same as these. This light actually came with my house. It was originally it was originally mounted over here above the dryer, but I just replaced it with that one. Um, but they're pretty much the same. And then this one that has the LEDs in it is just whatever the equivalent of the Lithonia light is from Lowe's. I don't remember if it's from the same brand or not, but yeah. But you can get those on Amazon. I would actually suggest not buying those lights from anywhere on the internet because when I got them in the mail, one of the globes on it was completely shattered. So, a word of caution, maybe don't do that. Don't make that mistake. And then, what else is there? Um, I think that's mostly it. Uh, you saw that there was an exit sign up next to the back door upstairs. Uh, that's just, you know, part of the next system test video. I'm working on that. I want to put this one up by the back door down here, but uh, I have to figure out a solution for mounting to concrete, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do that by the next video. Because I don't have any, like, proper construction adhesive, and all of these have been here for the better part of a decade, so they're all just a solid block. Actually, they've probably been here for a lot longer than a decade, to be honest. Um, so the last thing on the list is that somebody wanted to see what this looks like in the dark, and I actually intended to do that for System Test 28, but I forgot, so. We're gonna go through here uh, and we're gonna put it on March time, which of course is probably not 120 beats per minute anymore because I adjusted it by accident. And we're gonna go ahead and turn these off, and you all will see what this system looks like in the dark in March time.
Hey, a spider. And also somebody asked me to go outside, so I will also do that. I'll also go outside. So we'll just turn this off. You guys like my neon sign? I'm gonna knock everything over doing this. Okay, so here is your uh, lights out test of the system in, in almost 120 beats per minute. Okay, so here's outside. I'm pretty sure I did this in the System Test 28, but I was asked to do it again, so. Not too incredibly loud. Not, I mean, it's not really loud at all from outside. I did do this in System Test 28. Well, whatever. Here it is again. And you know what? This time, it's not snowing, so. I guess that's a plus. You know, I really shouldn't do this at night, because we get cougars around here, but... So, there's what that looks like from outside. <laughs> I bet my neighbor... If my neighbor can actually see this from their farm, that would be really funny. This is glowing house. They definitely can't hear it though, no way. Oh, there's a deer down there. It scared me. The weirdness of it is kind of offset by how bright that neon sign is, though. But it does actually... The strobe does make it outside a little bit. The one, the GXS does. So that's pretty interesting. I don't feel like walking all the way around to the other side again, so... I'm just gonna do a gamer move.
This may have been the longest system test I've ever made. But yeah, so that's everything I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, and this is kind of this is going to be the, the theme for half tests. I think I probably won't do them all the time just because it probably isn't good for my channel's watch time because nobody really watches these. But basically, I'll just be addressing some of the comments or questions that I get in the actual system test video in the half test. So that's something extra to expect from me. But yeah, I think that's it. So uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for watching. And uh, I will see you in System Test 29, which will hopefully come out in a couple weeks, but I don't really know. I have to stop making promises on timescales because I'm really bad at that. And I recognize that, so maybe that makes it better, but it really doesn't at all, does it? Um, bye!